so brilliant. Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek reacts back at it again. You were right. Another Patreon request, my friends. For the year of 1985, you know what year that was. Golden indeed, my friends. It's called a heart, Depeche Mode. Love me some 80s, love me some Depeche Mode in the 80s. Um, this is probably going to be fantastic. An official video clip, guys. Let's get right to it. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. Makes videos like these a little more possible. And also, become a Patreon member today if you do. Videos like these come on the way through, guys. Not only that, your support fuels more content and makes it only go up from here because of you guys. Take a look at my store, Derek Rex store. Custom tees. Cool stuff I made for you guys. Yes, if you see something you like, grab yourself something nice today. Follow and subscribe on Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, and now TikTok. Without further ado, let's go. I love that. Come on. Absolutely incredible, my friends. This is why I love them during the 80s, because of the sounds. Sounds, sounds, sounds. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. I mean, his, vo his vocals are great as well. Um, it never fails. But this is what I like. They were so experimental during this time, and you're getting all these things. Uh, you question whether or not they were truly what you see, right, in the video. Like, much like his, their other videos, you just question it because they're just, they're finessed. And they're so clever, so clever. The xylophones, the drums, the guitar strings in the back. It's the, the complexities to the arrangement are so incredible that if you just pay attention to the sounds, um, not so much the lyrics and all that stuff, you're just in a different world. You're in a different world because they're, they're so great. I love this stuff, guys. I live for this stuff. Um, and it's perfect. Another 1985 song that's just got me good. It, they can't, it can't, you can't do no wrong in this year. You can't. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's incredible. I love the video too. Everything about it is just in. Oh my goodness. All right, let's rewind.
hard. So aggressive, I love that. I love when he gets like that. Love it. Arrangement is sick. I like when he does that. So sick. Martin Gore. Oh my god. It just fades away, guys. Fades away. It's uh look at this. In Japan, they filmed the whole thing. That's pretty cool. Four minutes long. 1985. Stunning stuff. You know what? This song right here just did me in. I think I'm gonna get the They've got a singles collection from 81 to 85. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy it. It's a compilation album. I think that it's this is well-deserved. I, I have to have a collection of theirs um, because there's just there's so many good stuff. Um, it does, it does, most definitely deserves a purchase. Um, you guys are probably saying, why haven't you done so already? I know I haven't. I haven't. I don't own, I don't own anything of theirs. The only thing I have is I just have them on Spotify, but that doesn't count. I want to... I want to contribute. <laughs> I want to contribute, you know? I want to support them. Uh, it's just great. It's called A Heart by Depeche Mode. Um, they released the 16th of September. Um, was one of two new songs, by the way, for the singles album, 80, 81 to 85. So the, it was new during that time. And uh, Catching Up with Depeche Mode, alongside with the band's other singles, Shake the Disease, uh, which I think I've done already, by the way. Uh, wow, guys, uh, reach number 18 in the UK singles charts. The U.S. versions of uh, the U.S. version of this, uh, catching up with Depeche Mode also includes the B-side fly on the white, the windscreen, which reappeared a slightly different mix, uh, 1986 album, Black Celebration. Uh, unlike other Depeche Mode singles, no limited edition, uh, version was released for It's Call the Heart. Instead, a double 12 inch vinyl, uh, D12 bang. Uh, bong, um, bang or bong, featured was featured instead. Martin Gore and I don't want to have cited that it's called a heart is one of their least favorite tracks the band has ever recorded. That's interesting. I wonder why. Because you think it's because it's repetitive? I don't know. I, I I like I like what they did here. I like the whole premise of this. If you notice, um, they don't want their heart to be broken. They don't want it to be broken. Hearts can never be owned. Hearts can only come in alone. If if I want it back, it will. I will take it back. I'll take my heart, but I'll try my best and more or less speak from my heart. Yes, speak from my heart. Speak from my heart. He says something about breaking it. Hold on. I know he says it somewhere here. He says something about tearing it apart. Here it is. Uh, and it's called a heart. You know how easy it is to tear it apart. If I lend it to you, will you keep it safe for me? I'll lend it to you. Will you treat it? You know, you have to remember during this time, um, they're probably much younger. So they're looking back at, at their songs and they were like, oh, this is probably, it just wasn't what, you know, they probably see it as a cheesy song, but I don't, I don't, I mean, the sounds are just epic. Everything about it is so good. Alan Wilder said that in a documentary, I remember I was vehemently against it because I felt like it was really going backwards. It was so poppy. Uh, and I had other songs that were, much better, like Fly on the Windscreen, because that was a B-side. It was a much stronger song, and I tried to argue to get it flipped over to become an A-side. But I think the first word is death, and Neil Ferris said no. And I uh, outvoted it, really, but I wasn't happy about it, and I sulked it for a long time. So a lot of them don't like it um, for whatever reason, but this this has so much potential. It does. And I got, I'm glad they released it. Um, so there's that. Let me know what you think about this one down below. Another stunning 80s Depeche Mode song. No surprise. Until next time, guys, for more videos like these, take care. Hey, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also, take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And, guys, yes, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. All right, guys, take care. Love you, guys. Peace.